What is going on guys? It is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all my first of many to come Fallout 4 videos. This game just came out a few hours ago and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm absolutely looking forward to continuing playing it, getting farther in the game, finding more stuff, getting better gear, and also making content about all of that and anything else that I deem worthy of a video. Uh, so I already have a bunch of stuff recorded for other videos that I will be posting over the course of today and then on. But for this first video, I want to show you guys what I personally believe is a legendary weapon that is locked away right under our noses not necessarily hidden or anything right in the first part of the game so in the beginning of the game when you head to vault 111 for protection uh, from the nuke explosion or whatever you want to call it uh, in that vault after you come back to and you need to escape you're going to be going through the overseer's office and for anyone who hasn't played fallout before or just doesn't know the overseer is basically like the president or the guy who runs everything inside each vault so you're going to go through the overseer's office and on the side of that there's a little cubicle type area and on the wall of that there is a little container that is locked away and in order to get into it which it clearly shows a gun that looks amazing by the way inside this container uh, because it's a clear container Container, as you'll see you need to have master lock picking to get into it now again for people who don't know in Fallout 3 New Vegas the lock picking system and for other skills such as science medicine whatever all were based on numbers like stats so you could get something such as lock picking to 100 but in Fallout 4 that's not how it works now for Fallout 4, the way it works is through perks and perk ranks. Every time you level up, you basically get a skill point and you can put that skill point into a certain perk. And the higher level you get, the more perks you unlock. And also some perks, such as the ones with lock picking, uh, you can upgrade them even further to basically get better and better. So, you know, you have some lock picks which are novice and some which are, uh, you know, hard or expert and in this case master. And so you're going to need to get higher levels and more points to put in to the lock picking perk to make it a higher and higher rank. So in this case, we have a master lock pick here or you're going to need master lock picking to get into this container to get the gun. I'm not sure if that's going to require the uh, highest rank there is for the lock picking perk I do know that the highest one makes it so your bobby pins don't break but you may be able to achieve the master rank so to speak with lock picking before that I'm not entirely sure all I know is it's definitely going to take a lot of leveling up and a lot of playing in order to actually get to that point it is cool though that they put this gun right under our noses in front of our faces honestly and the very beginning of the game it lets us know that we can come back to vault 111 and that there's definitely a reason to as well as to upgrade your lock picking perk or skill whatever you want to refer to it as now when it comes to legendary weapons in this game i don't have all the information what i do know is that legendary enemies are in this game and legendary enemies have a chance to drop legendary items and these items will basically have an extra bonus to them such as you know more critical hit damage i also know there's guns in the game that you may be able to get by finding them such as the one on the wall in the video here that's locked behind this container that you need master lock picking for or that you can get from legendary enemies or through other means that have specific abilities on them uh, that are only found on that individual gun another example of how to get them or another means of how to get them could be by creating them of course all of you know there's the different workbenches and stuff in this game you can create items with and customize guns and armor and stuff with so it could be by creating a certain type of modded gun uh, that gives it a specific name to be quote unquote legendary it could be that we have to kill certain enemies to get them such as in, in, in a game like borderlands or it could be a case where you find them throughout the world such as the one on the wall i'm showing you guys in this video as far as I know, nobody really has all the information or facts regarding legendary items in this game, and that's fine because it only just came out hours ago. I am really looking forward to, like I said, continuing to play this game though and find out more about this stuff and also where to get the legendary items or how to get legendary items, uh, and I'm definitely going to be making videos regarding all that stuff as soon as I personally figure it out because I know many of you will probably be interested as well. Anyway, guys, that is basically it for this video. Sorry if it was a little longer than expected. I basically just wanted to cover everything that I thought was associated or related to this video and what I was showing. Sorry if anyone thought that this video was showing a guaranteed legendary gun for you guys to get. And sorry if there's anyone out there who thinks that legendary guns aren't a thing in this game or that that's not what they should be called. Feel free to correct me in any which way you would like to. I definitely don't know everything about this game. I only just got it. And some of you may very well be more knowledgeable about it if not likely more knowledge about it than myself. 
Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.